Hello everybody, it's Basan19 and welcome to my walkthrough on how to get from day one until it's time to become a mercenary or vassal and have a really good character and clan. This is now going to be updated for 1.6.2. I got a suggestion from somebody who binge watched my 1.5.9 and said it's outdated. And with the changes to Bannerlord's economy and smithing, it has changed. So, this is going to be a walkthrough. So, therefore, you are going to see most everything that happened. Because there are people out there that are all of a sudden going to be like, what did you just do? I'm going to show you step by step everything. There will be very small cuts in which you're not going to see stuff like tournaments. I'm going to cut out the middle of it. You'll see the beginning. You'll see the end. Bandit bases. Once I show you one bandit base so you know how I do them, I will cut them out. Also, looter fights. If I fight looters, I'm going to show you one time, then I will cut those out so you know what to do. The very biggest thing you can do at the beginning of the game is character creation. It is by far the most important thing you can do is plan your character. Now, for this game, I'm going to be doing it differently than I did in my 1.5.9. I'm going to be playing this how I feel most everybody in Bannerlord play. That is a realistic campaign with death. That is how I think most people play the game. Now, the difference from a sandbox to a campaign, or ca campaign is this. In a sandbox, you will get three extra attributes, six extra focus points. But you will lose your big brother, your little brother, your little sister, and then getting a wife for your big brother. So there is a trade-off to make. Also, as a death character, you're going to start at a little bit lower age if you do play a sandbox versus a campaign so this is how i feel most people do it now i am a very very big person when it comes to batania and the reason is because of this panel this penalty reduction right here 50 percent less speed penalty reduction in force it makes you a forest king and the level 75 scouting perk forest kin does uh, this also and it stacks so you can outrun so many people in the forest and that is why I choose it the, now when it comes to creating this character you must decide what you are going to do right now I cannot stress this enough this is one of the most important things you can do is plan your character in a campaign it is very difficult to get two trees attribute trees to seven points so you can get 275 it's doable but it's difficult in a sandbox it is much easier and it is actually possible to get three of them to 275 now being that this is a death game i will be planning on going intelligence so what i'm going to do is my normal setup what i normally do And I will explain what I'm doing right now. Now, what I actually, this I do not want to do. This I don't want to do. This is actually my um, sandbox. Um... All right, we're going to go with invested some money in land. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's tempting. All right, I'm going to go there. So here's what I have. So I'm going to be able to get six points into endurance. 
because you get one in smithing. All right. It's not going to allow me to hit legendary, but that's fine. I have five points into here, which is going to allow me to get most of the skills where I need them to get. I won't be able to hit 275. The first five points I get will go into intelligence. Although I do have the option to slide one or two points. Putting these in here is going to take me to level 20. That will get me seven points so I can get 275 in these. Then it's, you can hit 24 and it's a stretch to hit 28. So I have the option of putting another point into here, which will allow me to hit Legendary Smith. So I might do that. That is a chance that I might go ahead and do that. I also like to have Roguery for, to be able to get Bandit and not suffer a morale loss when doing it. And also, it is nice to go ahead and do Prison Breaks, which I'm going to do as well. All right, so that is my character. I figured it all out. Plan out what you're going to do. Where do you want this to be? Being that this is a death game, I don't care about social because I don't think I'm going to run my kingdom. I think my son is going to do it. So I'm going to have one of my sons concentrate on social. I want to concentrate on this. I want to live as long as possible to help him build up. And then I want to be able to have price of loyalty. It's, in my opinion, the best perk in the game. I will be using a bow. And I haven't decided how I'm going to work my weapons. I do a lot of two-handed, especially two-handed I love for sieges and prison break. Pull arm I love for campaign battle maps. Campaign battle map. Okay. We are going realistic, except for recruitment. That I that I definitely don't... I um, always leave that up. And persuasion chance? I always leave persuasion chance up. I still feel that their numbers are not correct. They've already admitted once in the past that their percentage rolls were not correct. I still feel they're wrong. And until I feel they're, wrong, they're right, then I'm definitely going to leave that up. But everything else goes realistic, but the recruitment difficulty... I don't like having it low. I will do that when I'm offline, but online it just takes way too much time. So this is step one. And step one, basically part one is what we're calling it, involve one thing and one thing only. And that is getting down to Asurai territory. That's it. That's all it involves. We are going to make our way to Asurai territory. That's it. But there's a lot to do in this episode. The beginning part of the game is the most important. If you can do things efficiently and have a decent amount of RNG, you can literally bump your game up by upwards of 50 to 50 days earlier than than what you would normally do. All right, so let's get our character done. I, I am going to go right to bow. Now, if you are playing a sandbox, the first thing I highly, highly recommend you do is max steward right now. Max it. You want to get that going. That is the most important thing because you want to price of loyalty. It is, in my opinion, the number one perk in the game. It reduces your food consumption, wages, and combat morale loss decreases by 0.5 per skill over 200. So when you get this to 300, that is 50% less food consumption, 50% less wages, and 50% combat morale loss that is OP so grab those points throw them into there and the rest you can decide in putting it in charm trade two handed or riding and bow is good as well now we need to go quickly grab and see if we can get some troops we need to be really really careful now at the beginning of the game like I said this is a walkthrough cannot stress that enough so this is going to take, this is uh, hardly anything being cut. 
All right, I got great troop. That is amazing. That is one of my best starts ever, right there. We can now take on a decent, we can take on about a pack of 15 looters. Now, first thing I do is this. Number one, buy a mule. We're gonna go pick up food, not here. You do not wanna buy food here, it's expensive. Although the butter, um, wow, um, yeah. I think I'm buying the butter. But we're going to get most of ours in Zayanica. Now, for me, uh, I wish I could get my... That is my axe I want to get. Um, I want to grab my arrows. See what you have here. Now, don't ever get rid of this. This is one of the best cloaks you can get, and it's standard. However, this is not a civilian cloak. If you take it off, you can't get it. So, but weapon, we don't need that right now. So, we got to decide which one do we want to get rid of. They're both about the same, 96, 62, 82, 66. Length 92, length 65. We're keeping that. All right, get rid of it. Now we're getting our money back. What we, we want to do is we do want to get another horse. However, I'm going to wait because this one has is very good. And also what I try to do is this. When possible, they do not have it here. We want to get some shoulders. And I will show you what soldier. And let us save this. This is now... We're going to run through this. And I'm going to show you the day progression. This is part one. Now we want to make our way to Zayanica. They don't have a, a tournament here. Or I would enter a tournament. You need to be really careful at the beginning part of the game. You do not want to run into a pack of about 15 mountain bandits. You're going to be toast. So be very careful on that. But we want to get over. And they can even be down here. They, though, I'll take that. Oh, I'll take that any day. Oh, yeah. This is how I fight looters. Right? Throw everybody back. As far as possible. Then you ride up and start shooting them. Now, these, these guys are so far back that a lot of these shouldn't break off and go for them. But that's what you want them to do. You want them to break off. So some come for you and some go to your guys. Now, I'm a little bit close, but not as many guys are throwing. See how they're going for my guys? You do not want that. You ride over here. You do. That's what we want. We want very... Yeah, we're going to get hit hard. But we had to get these guys away from them. See how you're having just a little bit of them go at a time? They now don't have to fight all of them. So now I can tell them to charge. You gotta watch for him to flee. I might have left a little bit of them. There they go. Now, right away, I will immediately go to one-handed. And there is a reason why. We are in Empire territory. So, most of your tournaments are gonna be one-handed. And winning a tournament is absolutely amazing for this build. If we can win a tournament, we can really jumpstart everything. Even though we want bow, we do want to get our bow to 30 ASAP. And that way we can get our Nordic short bow. But right now, we need it because we don't have any points into one-handed. We want to get as much into that as possible because that is normally... What the, we're hoping we get at least one tournament. I mean, I want a tournament in every town, if possible. And there we go. Done. You could take prisoners. Now, with these guys, we I will upgrade them. All right. These guys will go to tier two. We need defense. All right. Let's check our gear. Uh, there's our helm. We did not, unfortunately, get any gloves. If you're going to get attacked, you can dump, you can always dump off your, um,
You can always dump your guys off. Your looters. All right. 18 versus 7 on realistic. Uh, missing one, but I'm not going after him. But now I can't do any more. And we still... Uh, I'm looking for a two-handed weapon, and I'm looking for gloves, which I didn't get. Um, now, I got to be really careful. I'm, I don't even care about him right now. I got to get to town. So we'll drop these off because we got roguery. And now we're getting rid of everything. Now we can buy food. What you have to do is you have to have at least four of any consumable to gain steward. So make sure you have at least four. Now I did pick up a, whore, a mule. So, and uh, I do have a little bit more room. However, I have those weapons on me, which I want to hold on to. There. That'll go really quick. That'll go back down. Now, what I want to look for is they do not have it either. Uh, I'm not going to take it since I have my Batanian armor. That's my body armor. I like to grab... There's a different one here that's um, like this, but it's the next one up. I think... It, I can't remember what it is. Um, it looks like this. But I use that for tournament. So I don't need anything else here. I'm good. We got 1,000 and there is a tournament. Oh, geez, that sucks. That sucks. I am unfortunately going to enter this tournament and I'm going to get one shot. There's nothing I can do. Let's see what the tournament is based on. It's terrible tournament. Twos, two on twos are terrible. So I will not bet. Yeah, I'll get one shot and I'm gone. So my chances of winning this tournament is very low. It would still be low even without this. This guy, one, one shot from these guys and I'm gone. Wow. I wrecked him. Holy cow. This is over. I, I got them all. Wasted them. Alright, one shot and I'm dead. Ooh. Two lords. <laughs> I get a malicious spearman and I am fighting two lords. There we go. Like I said, one shot and I'm gone. I tried. Alright. Like I said, our goal is to get to Asurai territory. That's our whole goal for this entire uh, game. Part of this. We want to get there. Depends on if they have a deliver the herd. Nope, we're not going back to Isaiah. That's way over here. We are not going there. I don't think I can do it. Not 24 of them. I, I don't have the life to do it. I, I really want to fight them. I just don't have the life right now. Uh, I do need to start looking at companions. Uh, I don't think there's anything I need here. No, there's nothing I, I need here. We're just going to uh, Asurai territory. And unfortunately, I am very low on life. Ten right now is a good number to have. It's not great. Um, I could go ahead and fight that if I wanted to, but they're faster than me. And if you want to catch them, being Batanian, although you can trap them right here. Here's, an, here's a trap. You can trap them right in town.
And I could have simmed it. George! 25 bow. I only lost one guy. One guy. Still no gloves. And another tournament. There's a surgeon. We're going to hold off. Maneuver. And headshot. Two points. Oh, wow. We got to get that going. Got to get Steward going. That's kind of a dumb move on my part. Uh, I'm going to take these. And the reason why I'm taking them is because we're going to head to Aserai territory. And it is extremely dangerous there. Very dangerous. All right. Five, 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 five. Good. Good. Grab a couple of these. That way we have enough. Okay, we're good. So, unfortunately... All right, let's double check. What we're doing is we're checking for labors. Nope, no labor. You got to make sure you got troop. It is so vital because now you're going to have to face bandits. And this is what the whole beginning of the game was about. Unfortunately, we cannot win ourselves a tournament. And I do want you. This is a trap. Right here is a trap. Uh, not everybody knows about this. But now he is trapped. He cannot get out. This is how you can trap people. And with this, I'm just going to sim. So, very quick stop off right there. Got a little bit. And it's really important because you need Renown. You want to get Clan Tier 1 as fast as possible. And they do have a tournament here, but once again, now I'm only at 30% light. Uh, they have a prince here. I did not check to see who they have. All right, we got 1,100. That is great. Uh, I do want one more mule. I know we can get them cheaper, but I want to be able to pick up food right now. We want to make sure that we are... This is the... Without a doubt, this is the number one time to buy at the beginning of the game. Okay. We're at 590, so let's back off one of each. All right, there. We have 4.4 speed. Everything looks good. We got 12 renown, which is fine. We don't have a companion yet. We've got a thousand, so we got good money. That was kind of important as well. You need to make sure you maintain decent money because you need to get full troop for what we're about to do. And what we're about to do is number one thing, start getting Asurai troops. I cannot stress that enough. We will get more into that in part two and part three. But this was part one. Get down to Aserai territory as fast as possible, but stop off and do looter. Do tournaments, even questing. A train the troops is an amazing quest to get in the early game. Gets you like almost 3,000, and you don't have to have all of them survive. I didn't really remember seeing one, but it is really one of the best you can get right off the start. Or if you get to deliver the herd, which we're going to get into coming up as well. If you can get that at the beginning going your way. We did have one from here, but it was going to Mizea, which is up here. It's actually way up here. We're not going that way. So if it was coming this way, it would be fine. This, however, is step one. Get to Aserai territory as quickly, but as efficiently as possible. So I will see you in part two. Take care and thanks for watching.